it is kind of wet out there and dry as well from Fort Pierce all the way down to Broward County. A nice start from Jupiter down to Boca with sunny skies, but along the Treasure Coast, we are wet in some spots over I-95 and the Turnpike. Scattered showers from Sebastian, Felsmere, Vero Beach over I-95 and the Turnpike tracking north. Temperatures are in the 70s and the 80s. Rain cools along the Treasure Coast, 70, 76 in Vero Beach, 78 in Port St. Lucie, 85 in West Palm and 86 currently in Boca Raton. So here's your hour by hour forecast. A mix of sun and clouds throughout the day, mostly cloudy skies as well with temperatures climbing into the lower 90s just like yesterday around 91 degrees by the evening and through the overnight hours. We will remain dry with cloudy skies with temperatures falling into the lower 80s. So let's time out the showers and storms for you. Here's updated future track. A few scattered showers around 2 o'clock, mainly impacting inland areas from Jupiter down to Boca Raton. By 5 o'clock, heavy downpours inland of Palm Beach County, Bell Glade, and along the Treasure Coast once again, firing up west of the Turnpike and then tracking northeast. And then we dry out after 8 o'clock with a few clouds around. So your boating forecast looks pretty awesome out there. Just keep an eye on the sky. Seas running less than 2 feet and a light chop out in the inland waterways. So here's the latest of Tropical Storm Earl. The latest advisory at 8 o'clock has downgraded to a tropical storm with sustained winds of 65 miles per hour, tracking west at 15 miles per hour. It already made landfall overnight over Belize and it continues to track westward and it will diminish and weakening as a low pressure system towards Mexico. Of course, we'll keep you updated as the updates do come in throughout the day. Here's South Florida's most accurate seven-day forecast. The rain will continue each afternoon. Summer typical pattern through the weekend with temperatures maxing now around 92 degrees.